Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 164 alongside Chad Money Mendez, who just finished Clay Guida in the third round. We were just talking, Chad, going into this fight. Clay never been stopped via KO or TKO before. You knew this, right? And you wanted it. Yeah, I did know that, you know, and that was something that I wanted to do very bad. Uh, I think for me to uh, really make a statement and show the world that I'm the next one in line for that title, I needed to go out there and finish Clay. And uh, doing it by TKO knockout was probably going to be the best bet. And, you know, I got the job done, so. What did you think of the stoppage? Did you think it was a little early? Uh, no, I know after that big, that first big hit, I could see his eyes were pretty glazed over. Uh, you know, and I've seen Clay get hit with some hard stuff before, and he's able to kind of push through it. So I knew I needed to be patient and just look for that uh, second big one to really seal the deal. And luckily, I found it, and I think it was a good stoppage. How strange is it fighting a guy like that who's moving so much all the time? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really weird. It's hard for, you know, anyone to train for a guy like that. You know, that was basically two camps that I trained for him. I was supposed to fight him that last fight. Um, ended up find, fighting Darren Elkins. But, uh, you know, it's tough. You know, I, I didn't really know what it was going to be like going out there. I didn't, you know, I feel like I wasn't as aggressive as I probably could have been. But, you know, it was hard to try and find that timing. I was just trying to be patient and really, uh, you know, kind of figure it out as much as possible. Um, and then, you know, I kind of saw that opening, took it, and that was the deal still. You're in an interesting spot here because you have the second most finishes at 145, second most wins at 145, four straight finishes at 145, yet maybe you're missing that one, like, kind of top five, top three guy, and, but yet you, you, there's a lot of buzz behind you right now. Do you think it's possible you can leapfrog the Lamases of the world and get the next shot at Aldo after this? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean... I've, I mean, I've called Lamas out twice now. Uh, the first time was on short notice for him, so it's understandable. But the second time, it would have been three weeks notice for me. Still turned it down. So, uh, you know, for me and in my mind, you got to beat the best to be the best. And if he's not willing to fight it, I mean, he needs to take a seat. I feel like I, you know, just made the, as big of a statement as I possibly can in this division. And, uh, you know, I think I'm ready to, to win that belt, and I want it next. Speaking of call-outs, recently Conor McGregor took a shot at you. You kind of took a shot back. He's injured right now, but were you bothered by that? No, I mean, you're going to get guys like that that are trying to leapfrog by, by running their mouth. And, uh, you know, I think the guy's decently tough, but, you know, I just I don't think he's at the level to be calling all of us out right now. And, you know, he needs to get in there and prove himself, uh, you know, fight a top 10 guy and see, you know, what happens then. But, no, he doesn't, he doesn't der deserve any of us top guys yet. Congrats. The team continues to roll. It's unbelievable to watch. Enjoy this one. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Feels good.